What a show we got coming up right here. Over here to my left, the one and only Freakin' Finelli. Yeah. Over here, Charlie from Brooklyn. Yeah. Over here, the, the quiet one with the sullen eyes, the producer of AM San Francisco, Steve Hover. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Now, here comes the greatest show on earth. I'm yeah, the greatest show. Yeah. <laughs> We are going to Madison Square Garden where months, uh, once a month they put on this marvelous show and, and the other night they featured uh, a death duel to the finish between uh, the Iron Sheik and Sergeant Slaughter, two arch rivals. Now, of course, the Iron Sheik is managed by the great Freddie Blassie. So here we go, to the garden, to Freddie Blassie, the Iron Sheik, and Sergeant Slaughter. Yeah. We're in Madison Square Garden now, just uh, a few moments, really, before the All-Star Wrestling uh, Finals. And I'm with one of the all-time fans. He's retired now. He's old. He's tired. And he's the manager of the Sheik. But I'm speaking, of course, to our old friend, Freddie Blassie. It's nice. <laughs> he counting his money. You're going to lose it all tonight on the Sheik. Ha! Ah, you're pencil neck geek. You're not last when I learned what you said about me. You called me old. I'm retired, but I'm not old. Freddy, there was a time when you were king here. That's right. Right in this ring here. I drew the largest crowds wrestling has ever had. You were the greatest. That's right. By all means. I... You, you, you wrestled Bruno? I wrestled Bruno San Martino. Did you beat him? I certainly did. And, uh, well, you just named him, and I, and I wrestled him and beat him. You beat them all, right? I beat Mr. Moto. I beat uh, Buddy Austin. And, uh, and you wore that crown? Oh, you were beautiful. I certainly was. I agree with you. I mean, I went all out. And I, every, without a doubt, every year I was voted the most hated man in the world. And I loved it because I can readily understand why these pencil neck geeks were envious of the great Freddie Blassie. Well, you were good looking. You That's had right. money. You That's had everything. And I still got money. And you still got money. Too. How do you like this latest edition? 16 carats. Come on, Fred. 16 carats. Fred, a guy was selling that this afternoon on the sidewalk. Is that right? <laughs> Take a look at it. Isn't that a little gem? Just tell me about the Sheik. He's your guy. Tonight. The Sheik is the greatest wrestler in the world. Really? Handled by yours truly. The man is young crown world heavyweight champion. In fact, he had the world heavyweight title, and he was jobbed out of it by these pencil neck geeks here in the East. But I guarantee you, He's back on a road. You have passed on all your knowledge to the Sheik? Everything. All right. I'm gonna, will you introduce me to him? Can I, I certainly him? will. Is he I a nice guy? Well, he's like Freddie Blassie was oh. in his heyday. Oh. Tell the Sheik to take it easy, will well, you? Well, the Sheik will do what I tell him. <laughs> okay. Let's go meet him, all right? Oh, certainly, certainly. All right. Eat your heart out there, you pencil neck geek. <laughs> Eat your heart out. These are $100 bills, you know. <laughs> and there's not one of them. Take a look. Take a look. You don't see no measly 10, 20, and there are 50. You pencil neck geek with a That's single right. fuck in your pocket. That's we got right. big money over 16 here. Carrots, 16 carrots, too. carrots right That's here. That's right. Let's go meet the four sheep. Four Lincolns at home, too. Hey, four Lincolns, not three. We got That's four. Right. We want the sheep. Let's go get a pick, a pick up your purse, Freddie, and let's right. go. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking to you, you pencil neck geek. You know what I'm talking about? Listen to what I tell you. We're going to go meet the Sheik now, the number one wrestler in the world, managed by yours truly, Freddie Blassie. Okay, here we are. Here's uh, Freddie and the Sheik in a last-minute uh, conference now before the big match tonight. Sheik Regis Sylvan. He loves the Iron Sheik, Iran, Tehran, Iran. Without a doubt, the greatest wrestler in the world today, Regis. This man here is just sensational. Yeah. But now, Sheik, what has Freddie taught you? Well, uh, Ayatollah Blasi, one of the best managers in this country. I come from Tehran, Iran. This man, he's a real, one of the best manager in this country. He taught me everything I know about professional wrestling because I was the, I was the AAU champion, I was the Olympic champion, Asian champion, 
and Moscow Olympic Games 68, Mexico City, anything you name it about amateur, I was the best. And also I come to pro professional wrestling, toughest sport in the world. And this man was the first manager in the world to help with me to I get that world heavyweight belt champion. And was the biggest uh, pleasure for me to Ayatollah Blasi be as my manager. What did he say? Uh, what did he say? Uh, Just a minute. He's spoken your language, now he's going to speak in his. خدمت همه شهروندگان ایرانی عزیز سلام عرض می‌کنم که در نیویورک سیتی زندگی می‌کنن. همه دنیا پهلوان‌های ایرانی می‌شناسه. مخصوصاً غلامرضای تختی، درود به خاک غلامرضای تختی. آره همه دنیا نو Now, what do you what do you guys do just before you go out? Is there a certain routine you go yes, through? Yes, I, I told him. I said you've wrestled this Sergeant Slaughter three times. Three times you've had your hand raised in a token of victory, and I hate odd numbers. So tonight, make it even. Uh -huh. That means number four. And the man is. These are the most sacred things in Iran. His prayer beads. Uh -huh. And the man is every time that he's in a dress room, sitting down, and he has a second time, he has his beads out praying. Now, do you two pray together? Well. He's trying As his manager, Fred, you should pray with him. I do, I do. Can we have a little demo? Can we see how you pray together? Well, first of all, before I do my play, I want to tell to all the American people, Soldier Slaughter, you come from South Carolina, USA. I come from Tehran, Iran, 10,000 miles. From A to the Z, I get it. And I was it. I was the first Iranian world heavyweight champion in this country. Soldier Slaughter, I want to know what Olympic you win. Well, the man talks about coming 10,000 yeah. miles to fight somebody. Well, you don't have to go anywhere. I've been looking all over the country for the biggest dump I can find. <laughs> the biggest junkyard, the biggest dump, and I'm going to put a big plaque on it. And we're going to call it the Unknown Iranian. And we're going to stick you in it, Iron Sheik, because we don't want you around here. This is a U.S. of A. U.S. of A. What do you get? Too nice. I don't like it when it gets excited. Here comes the prayer. I think we're going to pray. <laughs> I come from 10,000 miles, Tehran, Iran. What's he saying? I come from 10,000 miles, Tehran, Iran. What's he saying? I'm not done with you. I don't need any help from anybody. I never needed 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 any help from an